Hello friends and welcome to this data from basic 12th part of this series and today we are going to discuss on the data from meta arguments. So in this particular session we are going to pick one meta argument for each and we will see how can we use them for each meta argument with the use of map and set of a string. So we are going to see the two use cases. Uh, in each of the use cases, we are using the for each for different different purpose. And if you remember in the last videos, we we already discussed one meta argument that is count. And in this video, we are going to look how many types of meta argument available in the Terraform. And in this particular video, we are going to concentrate on the for each. Okay. So if you didn't refer my previous video, just have a look on those. So the resource meta argument, the resource meta argument can be used for any resource type, means there are resource types, several types of resources, like in the AWS, you can create a VPC, you can create the IAM, S3 bucket, EC2, since all, all are, are resources, okay? Any of the resource type, just to change the behavior of the resources. So if you remember my previous video on the count, we are creating one instance, okay? And the EC2 instance, and we are changing the behavior with using the count meta argument by assigning some value. So we are create we have the resources for the EC2 instance, one EC2 instance, and there we inserted the count meta argument and set the set the value as five. So the same same piece of code will not create one instance EC2 instance. It will create the five EC2 instance in a particular environment. Okay, so these are the list of meta argument and uh, the count for each depends on life cycle, provider, provisioner and connections. So we are going to see each of them one by one count we already um, uh, discussed in the past videos and this is the videos in which we are going to concentrate on the for each. Okay, so we are going to see how for each we can use which we using the two, uh, two use cases. Okay. So for, for each for the use cases in which we are using the map, so you can see that we created the resources, okay? This is the fixed for the AWS that you have, you are not going to change it, AWS underscore S3 bucket, and this is the local name of that particular resources that you are using, the labeling the, you can say the labeling for the internal use. And here you can see the, for you are, we are using the for each for the map where we have the key value, like, for the development environment, this is the key and this is the value, okay? So the value should be unique because uh, it's a global, uh, S3 is a global kind of things that you have, so you should have a unique name um, globally, okay? So uh, that's why I added some number here so that it's uh, not uh, get conflicted with the other's uh, name. And this is the key for the QA and we are using this value uh, for the S3 bucket and productions, we are using the prod key and um, this particular value, okay? And this is the bucket name. So here we are going to get the each dot key. So each dot key, it, it will goes in a loop and read one by one each of the key and the value. So in the first, when the first iterations, it will pick the this one as the key, and uh, using the dash symbol, it will pick this uh, this as the value, and this is the bucket name. The ACL we are using for the S3 bucket creations is the private one, and we are using the tag again. We are setting some values, some environment, so that you can understand that how can we use it for the tagging also, and this is the uh, bucket name that also we are going to use as a tag and here we have assigning the bucket name okay so this is the first uh, use case where we are using the for each meta argument uh, using the maps okay and this is the second example so where we are creating multiple im user again from uh, using the for each meta argument but here we are using the set of uh, strings so what is the difference between the set of strings using with the for each and the, uh, using the maps? In the map, we the, the key and the value uh, is something different. Okay, the key, uh, if you if you go to the previous slide, the key is different than the value. But uh, for in the for, um, uh, for set of string using the for each, the key, uh, the A Kumar, this is the first um, I am user. This you can also use as a key and also use as a value. So in each of the case you can understand that each dot key 
is equal to each dot value either you can use the each dot key or uh, you can use the each dot value both the cases you have get will get the same result that the i am user gets created uh, with uh, the value that you provided so you can see we are using the for each two set and this this is the um, uh, set of uh, strings that's why we are using here the two sets and here we are passing the uh, name of the i am user accordingly it will go into the environment and create the i am user okay so uh, i am not jumping to the lab session okay so just demonstrate you this is the vs um, and you already familiar with all these things uh, so you can see here this is the count this is the one of the meta argument that we already seen in the previous video and this changing the behavior of this resources like if i remove this okay i will just put a comment using the has so it will cre create only one instance okay and but when we assign some value using the variables like here we can assign the value as a two it will create uh, the two instance for the same um, con, uh, con, having the same configurations the same ami id the same instance type it will create uh, if i change it here to 10 it will uh, changing the behavior okay behavior of the resources this is the functionality of the meta argument uh, now it will create the 10 uh, uh, 10 resources of a ec2 instance okay but this uh, particular session is uh, on the for each meta argument we are going to learn the other one so we are going to comment it we are not going to use it okay and now we are going to uncomment this one uh, this one uh, is the for each we using the map we already seen this okay and there is no need to uh, provide you the details again because we already provided this is the key and this is the value the key is not equal to the value this is the difference between the using the set of a string and using the map for the for each so uh, for the acl we are using the private and we are uh, setting the appropriate uh, uh, tax for uh, the resources okay so i'm going to save it okay so here you can see that i already commented so no ec2 instance will get created into the environment i can show you the environment here we have we don't have a currently any ec2 instance and now i am jumping to the s3 bucket here you will find i think one or two s3 bucket i already created only one s3 bucket we have okay and using this uh, you, we, we will get uh, three more so s3 bucket okay so uh, i'm using the git pass okay and i'm going to change my drive to the data form uh, here we have the two files the same we have here also so uh, you can see that um in the in the reason we are we're going to select um, the all the things will get deployed into ap south one south one this is the mumbai reason and the ami we will pick but in this particular session we are not going to create the issue to instance okay uh, and the um, the security keys all the things we, we can already configure in the aws cli so we don't have need to pass it again here and we just need to initialize so i'm going to initialize data form in it so this will um, create uh, uh, all the binaries means all download all the binaries supported for the aws so that um, it's uh, in fact to communicate through the api uh, through the aws this is the provider and we already discussed uh, all the things in detail in the pre previous video just have a look on those uh, terraform validate we are now going to validate our terraform file I'm going to save it and the same command I'm going to execute again because I did forget to mm, save that file after modifications. Okay. To the form FMT just to check. Okay, there, this is also fine. To the form uh, plan. Before using apply, I will just want to see the plan. So this will create uh, three uh, uh, three uh, S3 bucket, and now I'm going to scroll it. You can see it's creating for the QA, for prod, and for the development environment. So three buckets it's going to create, and this is the name of the bucket. Okay, this should be unique. 
and the, the tagging is also they providing all the informations uh, accordingly for the each reason for productions brought so all things looks good now i'm going to apply it so it's ask asking me for the confirmations yes so it's going to create the 3s3 bucket now i'm going to just going to refresh it uh, here so you can find here the 3s3 buckets got created one for dev one for prod and one for qa let me open one of them and here you can find uh, the tagging i think yes environment is equal to dev s3 bucket okay so all things look good so this is the example of uh, meta arguments using the map now i'm going to remove it auto f2 so this will uh, remove the all the three buckets that it's got created so you can see that uh, we have currently only one s3 bucket all the three buckets that we created is gone okay so now i am going to uh, look into the other example mm -hmm. uh, the meta argument uh, with using that uh, for each uh, for set of strings i am going to comment it this is already commented okay now i am going to comment this one and on comment this one now this time i am going to create uh, i am user so this uh, already we discussed in the, in the uh, for the for the using the for for each using the set of a string the key is equal to the the, the value either you can use the key or we uh, or value uh, the result will be same okay so this one is the key uh, is equal to value uh, that means both are same and we are going to create um, uh, to for uh, i am user using this um, uh, this uh, resources okay so i am going to save it and uh, now uh, there is no need to create uh, execute uh, the init i am just uh, validating all looks good and uh, to the form format no need to required to the form plan yes we need to see the plan before that uh, i'm just going to see just uh, show you how many i am user we have so you have a better understanding at what's get created so in the users we have only two users one with the name devops and other terraform users and then by you executing this terraform uh plan we are going, going to add uh, four new okay so v gupta omesh singh r kumar a kumar so the, all the four uh, i am user is going to get created using this uh, apply command okay so all things looks good to our form uh, apply auto auto this will create a four i am user using set of strings so you can see it's started creating now i'm going to jump and just going to refresh it let me refresh it from here it's disabled okay so we now we have a six user the a kumar r kumar Umesh Singh and V Gupta. So all the four uh, I am user bots created using the for each meta uh, meta argument, and this time we are we are using the set of strings. 
okay so i hope uh, the for each uh, meta argument is now clear with the two use case example so uh, that that's it for this particular uh, series and if you guys like my video just subscribe to my channel and share this channel link with your friend as well and gives me a thumbs up if you really likes my the way of presenting the videos and follow me on instagram and linkedin i am saving my links for the linkedin and instagram as well and keep learning have a nice day